Ever felt like you were losing your mind in a relationship but couldn't quite put your finger on why? Welcome to the world of gaslighting, a form of emotional abuse that's as sinister as it is subtle. Picture this, you're in a relationship and you start to feel like you're walking on eggshells, second guessing your memories, your judgments, even your sanity. That my friends is gaslighting. This term finds its roots in the 1944 film Gaslight, where a man manipulates his wife into believing she's losing her mind. Today, gaslighting has expanded beyond the silver screen and infiltrated our daily lives. It's a psychological tactic used by individuals to gain power and control over their victims by making them doubt their own reality. So, if you're feeling confused, anxious, or even crazy in a relationship, you might just be a victim of gaslighting. Stay with us, as we delve deeper into this manipulative tactic and how to combat it. You might think gaslighting only happens in movies, but real life tells a different story. Let's talk about Martha, a successful businesswoman. She was married to a man named John, who was charming and charismatic. But behind closed doors, John was a different person. He would belittle Martha, telling her she was misremembering things, even events that had just happened. He'd insist that she was overreacting or being overly sensitive when she tried to discuss her feelings. He'd twist her words and actions to make her feel as if she was the one causing problems. This is a classic case of gaslighting. Martha began to question her sanity, her memory, and her perception of reality. She was constantly anxious, feeling like she was walking on eggshells. It took her years to realize that she was not the problem, but rather, she was the victim of John's manipulative tactics. Let's shift to another case, that of a young man named Alex. Alex's boss, Mr. Smith, was a master manipulator. He would give Alex tasks without clear instructions, then criticize him when the tasks were not done to his expectations. He would deny ever giving certain instructions, making Alex doubt his own memory. He would undermine Alex's confidence, making him feel incompetent and dependent on Mr. Smith's guidance. Alex suffered in silence, believing he was not good enough. His self-esteem plummeted, and he lived in a constant state of fear and uncertainty. It was not until a co-worker pointed out Mr. Smith's behavior that Alex recognized the gaslighting. These stories might sound extreme, but gaslighting can be subtle and insidious, happening over a long period of time. In both cases, the gaslighters used manipulative tactics to control and undermine the victims, causing them to question their own perceptions and realities. It's a slow and stealthy form of psychological abuse that can have devastating effects. But awareness is the first step towards breaking free from the grip of a gaslighter. Gaslighting can be hard to spot, especially when you're in the thick of it. It's an insidious form of psychological manipulation where the gaslighter tries to make you question your own perception, memory, or sanity. Often it's subtle, wrapped in the guise of concern or love, making it even more difficult to identify. First off, if you're constantly in doubt, feeling like you're walking on eggshells around a particular person, that's a red flag. Gaslighting often involves the gaslighter making you second-guess your decisions, your thoughts, and even your feelings. They may say things like, you're not remembering that correctly or you're overthinking this, leading you to question your own memory and perception. Second, if you often feel crazy or emotionally unstable around this individual, it's another telltale sign. Gaslighters have a knack for making you feel like you're the one with the problem. They may accuse you of being too sensitive, too emotional, or outright crazy, effectively shifting the blame onto you. Third, if you're frequently told that you're overreacting or being too sensitive, that's another sign. Gaslighters have a way of belittling your feelings and making you feel like your reactions are unwarranted. They may dismiss your concerns, telling you that you're making a big deal out of nothing, thereby undermining your experiences. Lastly, if your memories or perceptions are often denied or twisted, you might be dealing with a gaslighter. They may tell you that things didn't happen the way you remember them, or that you're misconstruing the situation. They're essentially rewriting your reality to fit their narrative, causing you to question your own recollections. It's important to recognize these signs and understand that they're not reflections of your inadequacies, but rather tactics used by the gaslighter to maintain control. Remember, the gaslighter's goal is to make you doubt your reality. If you're constantly second-guessing yourself, it's time to step back and evaluate. So, you've identified the gaslighting. Now what can you do about it? Well, it's not an easy journey, but there are practical steps you can take to deal with gaslighting. Firstly, it's important to seek an outside perspective. Sometimes, when we're in the thick of things, it's hard to see the reality of our situation. 
Talk to a trusted friend, a family member, or even a professional counselor. They can provide a fresh viewpoint and help you validate your experiences. Secondly, trust your instincts. Gaslighting can make you doubt your perceptions, your memories, and even your sanity. But deep down, you know what's real and what's not. If something feels off, it probably is. Trust that gut feeling. It's there to protect you. Thirdly, set boundaries. This is crucial. Gaslighters thrive on control and manipulation. By setting clear, firm boundaries, you're sending a message that you won't tolerate this behavior. It could be as simple as saying, I won't continue this conversation if you keep denying what happened, or as drastic as cutting off contact completely. Lastly, consider seeking professional help if necessary. If you're feeling overwhelmed, anxious, or depressed because of the gaslighting, a mental health professional can provide you with the right tools and strategies to cope. They can also help you rebuild your self-esteem and regain your sense of reality, which can often be eroded by persistent gaslighting. Remember, dealing with gaslighting isn't about winning an argument or proving the gaslighter wrong. It's about reclaiming your truth and your self-worth. It's about standing up for yourself and saying, I won't be manipulated. And above all, remember this, you are not alone. There are many people who have walked this path before you and have come out the other side stronger and wiser. There are resources and support networks available to help you navigate this difficult journey. No one deserves to be gaslighted. Stand your ground, trust your instincts, and remember, you're not alone. Gaslighting can be a tough beast to tackle, but knowledge is power. We've traversed through the murky waters of defining gaslighting, reflected on real-life cases, learned to spot the signs, and equipped ourselves with strategies to counter it. It's a journey, but one that starts with understanding and ends with empowerment. Remember, your reality is valid. Don't let anyone make you believe otherwise. Stay strong and keep shining your light even in the face of gaslighting. Thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next video.